Hi, this is Tech Tips with Brittany, and I'm here to show you how to delete your old reminders using shortcuts. I don't know about you, but in my family, we use the Reminders app for our grocery list because it's very easy. Hey, helper, add this to my grocery list. But ours have become very cluttered and bogged down. I've been hunkering down with my folks, and so sharing a list of these household tasks that multiple adults are trying to be responsible for has been a little bit of a trick. This is our shared grocery list. And on it, we have a lot of old items, including something that said it was due in 2017. I, I don't even know what that's about or why it's in the grocery list. It doesn't matter. All we really need is canned fruit and lemon juice. At a certain point recently, I was chatting with my mom about this and she was very frustrated with the grocery list and how there are all these old completed items. I mean hundreds, going back as long as she'd had an iPhone. It was actually my mom's very first shortcut. It's a very proud moment for me. And all it does is get rid of the old deleted list items because she had so many. This one is actually quite simple. We're going to open up shortcuts Tap on the plus. We're going to type in reminders and see what reminders actions it has for us. It's actually got quite a few. So what we're going to use is the find reminders function. Find all reminders and then we're going to add in some filters. The list is and grocery. Tap on the plus symbol. Now tap on specifically list. We want the status of is completed because we only care about the things that have already been purchased and checked off the list. Great. So when the shortcut's open like this, you can hit play and see what the result is. If it's not, that doesn't display. So we're going to look up the reminders again. You can actually tap on the icon here and it'll show you all of the items. And what we're going to do is remove reminders. Now this is if you're sure you want to delete all of the completed items. If you want to be able to select which ones are getting deleted, then we'll add that in in a minute. So for this one, this is going to pick the list grocery. It's called grocery, not groceries because of the, the action to add it through the digital assistant. And then we just remove it. And this would be the simplest, most bare bones one. If we want to make sure that we're confirming all of them, then we're going to go back and go to choose. Any set of items that's more than one is called a list. So we're going to choose from list and just sneak it in here in between them and hit show more and we can select multiple. And in fact, since I'm pretty sure I want to get rid of all of them, I'm going to hit select all initially. So they'll mostly be selected and then I'll just uncheck the ones that I don't want it to delete. So let's test our shortcut. It's grabbing it. Remember that list is really long, so it's grabbing all of the items and it's gonna let me choose from the reminders list. Yep, this stuff all looks pretty old. But if I see something that I'm like, oh no, we need that. In fact, I, I think I did because we actually are out of black beans. It's nice to have a checklist for a little while just to say, oh, what did I buy last time? But after a few years, it gets a little stale. Done. Am I sure I want to remove 190 reminders? Yep. Am I really, really sure I want to delete 190 items? Yeah, I am. Wow. They really want to be sure. Now here's the moment of truth. Let's go look at the reminders. Look at those! And I'll uncheck the black beans because now we want to keep that. There we go. I've cleaned out my grocery list. Now the next time I go to a grocery store with my mask on, all I have to do is ask Siri to pull it up and I won't have to sort through a bunch of other old garbage. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time. Hi.
Hi, this is Tech Tips with Brittany, and I'm here to show you how to delete your old shortcuts using reminders. That's backwards. <laughs>